Last week we expanded the base by adding a scrap farm, a power farm, an automated trade platform and a new storage section. Now that we've got our base set up nicely, we can move forward with some interesting missions. In this video I'll be completing the jet powered missions which will give us two of the best vehicles in Estronir the hoverboard and the VTOL. First up to get the hoverboard we'll need to go to the solo. I've got our large shuttle outfitted with everything we might need. We've got a landing pad to complete missions on there. We've got extra chips because I'm pretty sure we'll need those. We've got a buggy with a seat, some extra hydrazine, dynamite because of course dynamite. We've got some packagers and an atmospheric condenser because if I remember correctly we'll need to find some gases for this. So yeah we've got power as well and that's pretty much it. I've also got all the snails in my backpack, all seven of them, and especially Usagi, which should help us locate things on the map. That should be really helpful for this. But that's enough chatter, let's get in and go to the solo. On the solo we'll find the hoverboard, and then for the VTOL we'll have to go to Vesania. But let's take it step by step, so our first stop is the solo. And I'm pretty sure we need to land here. This sign might be the first thing we need to get because in a past video, like two or three videos ago, we found a really interesting thing, but I'm not entirely sure, so it might be something else entirely. For that, we'll need to unlock our pad right here. And let's see our mission log. What we are completing right now is prototype recovery. So we need to find a vehicle data recorder on the solo and blow it up. That's what I think this thing is but I'm not entirely sure, so let's get our buggy here. This will allow us to move around easier. We'll also put a QTRTG on it for power, and I'll also take some more seeds for our snails, so they can continue giving us their powers. If that's actually the thing, we'll also need to blow it up, so I'll take a dynamite, and let's go. The solo is such a cool planet, but I've never actually built a base on here, so we might want to do that in a future video. Alright, so is this... Yeah, this is the vehicle data recorder. Oh, and they also gave us some dynamite right next to it. That's nice of them. Let's detonate and we'll see what happens. Whoa. Okay, that was a bigger explosion than I was expecting. We've got some exochips on here. Alright. And we completed the mission, but did we get anything else? I don't think so. I'll take the buggy and I'll go back. I'm really surprised the buggy didn't get destroyed from that explosion. It just got pushed back. That was really weird, but I'm not complaining. So let's go ahead and see if we completed the mission. Yeah, prototype recovery. We've got 500 bytes from that. And now we need to complete tracing the transmission. We need to find Matt and slot an exochip. Alright, so that's why we received exochips as well. Um, I'm not sure how much space we've got for them, but I'll throw them on here. Oh, they actually put it on the map for us, so we won't need Yusaji to blindly go around the planet looking for it. I'll also take some extra chips, but that wouldn't have been so bad on the solo because it's a pretty small planet. It would have been kind of hard for the VTOL missions on Vesania because Vesania is much bigger than the solo. But we can already see it in the distance there, so I'm gonna drive pretty quickly over to that spot and then we can slot an exochip into it and I think it will also require us to slot some other resources in but I don't remember what resources so here we are we found Matt okay and now we need to place an exochip in here okay well we got a new mission so I'll check the mission log on the backpack here we do have some rewards for this we got some bytes and now we'll need two plastic and two aluminum alloy Okay, um, we don't have the facilities to craft those on here, so I'll have to head back to Aatrox, craft those, and then we'll come back here and put them into mat. But that's exactly why I brought some extra hydrazine with us. If we need to go from one planet to another, we can do it without worrying about getting stranded on a planet. So yeah, I'll head back to Aatrox and craft those resources. And then I'll see you back here. One eternity later. Alright, I'm back from Aatrox and we've got two missions actually here. We need to provide two copper, two zinc, two plastic and two aluminum alloy. So I've got all of them right here, eight in total. So let's head back to Matt and slot these in. I'm not sure if you also need to provide other materials or if these are enough to get us the hoverboard, but we'll see in just a second here. Okay, so here we are. 
Let's start feeding these in one by one. So there's the aluminum alloy. Now let's feed the plastic. Okay, we completed the first mission. And then let's place the zinc and the copper. And that should be it. It looks like it's scanning now. And we got a new mission, I think. What is it scanning for though? Let's actually see what the new mission is all about. We need to activate the metal. Oh, so we just need to activate it. All right. I didn't notice we can activate this. It says it's ready to broadcast its schematic findings to Exodynamics. Warning, reactor overload likely. That sounds dangerous, but okay, let's activate. Whoa, it looks like it's about to explode. It didn't really leave anything behind and it's gone. What happens next? I think that was supposed to happen. But now what do we do? Let me take another look at the missions. We don't seem to have any other mission here on the solo. Oh, but we got the schematics for this. So we already have the hoverboard. We just need to go back to the landing pad and claim our reward there. And then we can test it out here on the solo. I am really excited to test out the hoverboard. I've actually used it a while ago in Astroneer, but I didn't really use it a lot. Now I think I'm gonna be using it a lot more, especially with the snails in the backpack. That could be a good combo with the hoverboard. So here we are, let's claim our rewards here. And here's the hoverboard, a QTRTG and the schematic for the hoverboard. So there we go, there it is. I think the hoverboard consumes, yeah, one power while active, so that's why we have the QTRTG as a reward as well. And we need to double tap space to equip it, so let's see. Okay, I feel like I'm in Subway Surfers now, so let's see. Okay, this is, number one, this is much faster than just running around. And you can also jump higher. But I wonder, does um, Enoki affect the hoverboard as well? Where is he? Let's take Enoki off and see what this is like. Oh yeah, okay, so Enoki also affects how you move on the hoverboard. So that's why I said it could be a good combo with the snails. You can already see some of the benefits from here. If you didn't catch it, let me show you one more time. So I'll just throw Enoki on here. Oops. I'll throw him on here. And now take a look at our speed. And also the jump height. We can jump so much higher now. And we are much faster. This makes traveling so much easier. You don't really even need a buggy anymore if you have this. So alright, we're gonna be using this a lot when completing the next missions for the VTOL on Vesania. Let's head back to our shuttle, pick up our landing pad and head to Vesania. This is also so much fun to use look at the jump and because we have princess in the backpack we didn't take any damage from that another cool thing is that you can use your terrain tool while on the hoverboard you don't have to get off in order to do that so that's extremely cool and there we go i'll take this and i guess i'm just gonna leave the buggy here because we don't need it anymore let's pack our stuff and we'll head over to vesania we just need a packager here Let's get the VTOL 2 and then we'll have all of the vehicles in Estronier, basically. I'm really excited about this and I'm not sure where do I actually need to land here. Do we have any marker like we had on the solo? Oh, we actually do have something here. So I land here, I guess that's the closest thing to it. So I think that's what we have to blow up first. And let me just take another look at the mission. So we need to find the data recorder and blow it up. All right, I'm going to take a dynamite and we will receive exochips probably. So I won't take exochips with me. We actually don't need the QTRTGs because we've got Rogal and he provides six units per second. So that's a whole lot, but we will need some extra seeds. Let me take them from here. This one seems to be pretty far. I'll just use the hoverboard to get there. 
and that will make things much faster. This is also surprisingly easy to maneuver through narrow spots or tough situations that looked really far from above but using the hoverboard we were so quick that we are already here. I was even thinking of maybe doing a time lapse of me driving all the way here but this doesn't require that it's so easy. Oh and we also have dynamite so let's just blow this up here and I'll get away because the explosion seems to be much bigger for this. Okay, we also got exochips here and now we should have a different thing on the map. We'll use the hoverboard again to get there. This seems to be one of the fastest way to move in Estonia right now, but we'll see if the VTOL is even faster. That is a possibility. So let's head over there and see what we need to do to complete these missions. This terrain would be really hard to travel through with the buggy, but because you can jump while on the hoverboard, we can get around a ton of obstacles. We don't have to build bridges, over gaps or anything like that. We can just jump and we are on the other side just like that. It's so easy and so maneuverable. Actually, I don't know why I didn't use this more often before, but I'm definitely gonna use it a lot from now on. We are almost there. And we won't take any damage here because we've got Princess in the backpack. If we didn't, we could easily take fall damage while using the hoverboard, but as I said, you should also use some snails with it. It makes it much easier to use. And here's the thing. This is the mat. Alright, so I think we need to provide exochips in here. Okay, so we completed that mission. We can also collect the bite rewards from here. So I'll do that. And now we need to complete what's the thrust. And we need two hydrogen canisters and two nitrogen canisters. And we also have the mission substance selection. We need graphite, titanium and tungsten. Alright, that's not pretty hard to do, but for the nitrogen and the hydrogen, we'll need to go back to Aatrox. And I don't know if Vesania has hydrogen, but let me actually check in the Astropedia really quick. Oh, hydrogen, yeah, so we have hydrogen on Vesania. We can get it right here because we've got our atmospheric condenser. But for the nitrogen, we'll need... Oh, we actually have nitrogen as well. Alright. Alright, so we can just do that here using our shuttle. But then for the other missions, we'll have to get back, especially for the titanium and tungsten. So I'm gonna go collect all of those materials and then I'll meet you back here on Vesania, alright? So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Okay, so I've got all the materials we need right here. Well, this is collecting the hydrogen. I'm gonna go and place these into the mat. And then we'll come back to get our nitrogen and hydrogen because we can't carry all of them at one time. So again, I'm just gonna use the hoverboard for this. Oh, and I'm I'm losing power here. Okay. I left Rogel on the shuttle, so we have more power for the hydrogen. So I'll need a QTRTG now to sustain our hoverboard because we were using Rogel before. But yeah, this also works with a QTRTG. It works with any kind of power, really. You can use as little as just a small generator, and that works. And hey, I bet you I can do a time-lapse here. Great, so here we are. Let's start feeding the resources in it. So first the graphite. Then we've got the tungsten. And finally the titanium. Okay, we completed that mission. And now we just need to complete the one with the hydrogen and nitrogen. I think we can also collect bites for this one that we just completed. So now I'll just head back to the shuttle and get all of the gases. We've got two hydrogen and two nitrogen right here. Now all we need to do is take them back to the mat. And maybe then we'll receive our VTOL. Or maybe we'll have to place even more resources. But I really hope we just receive the VTOL. I don't know, we'll see. Great, let's feed these in here. Whoa, this makes a really interesting sound there. All right. It sounds even a little bit creepy. But there we go, that's the last guess right there. Okay, so we completed the mission, but now what do we need to do? We can collect the rewards. 
and now we need to get further refinement. Oh, alright, so we need silicone and tungsten carbide. Okay, I guess we'll have to head back to Aatrox for this. I wasn't expecting to need even more resources, but I guess it is what it is. We will receive the VTOL, which is extremely cool, so it's worth all of these resources. So let's head back to Aatrox, craft those, and then I'll be back. I'm back with all the resources we need, so let's feed them in here. Alright, so that's all of them. And it still needs something. So let's see, what does it want? We can claim the rewards for this. And now we have analysis paralysis, we need to slot three exochips in here. I'll go back and get the three exochips and then we'll probably need to get some other resources as well. So yeah, the VTOL is definitely harder to unlock than the hoverboard. I'm guessing it's for a good reason, the VTOL can fly, so that's pretty overpowered in Astroneer actually, especially in the mid game, let's say. The end game might hold some other surprises, but we'll see in future videos about that, don't worry. If the hoverboard wasn't so fun to use, it would be pretty boring to go from the shuttle to the mat back and forth all these times, but with the hoverboard this is actually extremely fun, so I don't really have a problem with it. Let's just get those three exochips and now we're heading back. Alright, let's get these exochips in here, and then we'll see what else we need. Okay, oh, so we just need to activate it, we don't need any other resources. So I'll activate it, and I'll run a little bit further, just in case this one explodes as well. This is pretty creepy, you don't really see this in Astroneer all that often. And there it goes. Okay, so I'm guessing we have the VTOL now. Yeah, we've got the VTOL, some hydrazine and the schematic to craft it. So we'll just have to head back to the shuttle again. And we can claim the rewards from the landing pad. I'm really excited to try out the VTOL, so I'm gonna hurry back there. Here we are, let's go ahead and complete the missions. And we've got our hydrazine here and the VTOL. Let's unpack it. Alright, so this is really cool. We don't really need a seat for this, we can just enter. Okay. But we'll need power, so let's get a QTRTG in here. Or do we need power? I don't think so, alright. So we just need the hydrazine. Okay, I thought this was about power. And I'll just throw some more hydrazine in here so that we can fly for longer. And now let's see, so we need to double tap to take off. Okay. And now we can ascend, descend, and we can move in all directions. This is extremely cool, and look at how little hydrazine it uses. I was expecting it to use it much faster, like the thrusters for example. But with this you can really use it a lot and travel anywhere on the planet. And if you add some larger silos on here, you can also haul some stuff from one side to another. And this is also extremely good for exploration. This changes how you would approach exploration because now you can just scout ahead and see everything from above. So that you can pinpoint a location that you want to explore and then you can just go there. This would be really cool just having some beacons with you and you would go around the planet and pinpoint beacons on specific resources that you want to come back with or over maybe and collect them if you want to collect more of them more than it fits in a backpack or on the VTOL. You could pinpoint specific uh, points of interest or anything like that. This would also help you a lot for some missions. So yeah, this is really cool. For whatever reason you can't see it from the front because it keeps turning. But yeah, you can see it from above and from below. And let's see how do we land this thing. Do we just go to the ground or we have to actually double tap? Double tap shift. All right, and we landed it. Now we can exit, we can do our stuff, get the resources off, put other things on. And then we just get back on and we can take off. I think there's a limit to the skybox, so you can't actually use this to get to other planets. But I'm just testing it out. It probably won't work. But you can get above the clouds with this. This is pretty cool. You can see the whole planet from here. So maybe there's no limit? I don't know. Oh no, we just hit the, the top of the skybox, so we cannot go any further than this. You can see when I go up, it just stops there. 
so this is as high as you can go all right now we'll be able to use these for the next videos and i've got some cool ideas for what to do next so make sure to save the atrox series playlist you will see all of the previous videos from this series and the future ones or maybe you want to check out this other video whichever one you choose i'll see you there cheers astroneers